Hey guys, what's up? Kristen from Barefoot Theory here. Uh, I'm camping down in Moab and I wanted to show you guys some of the new cool things I put on the outside of my van. One of the things I've really been struggling with in my van is storage space. So as you know from my van tour, my van is pretty open. And I did that to create a more livable working space. In turn, I sacrificed some of the storage areas that more traditional builds have, like platform beds. So, um, I recently went down to San Diego and I met with the folks over at Illuminous and they make custom racks and exterior accessories for adventure mobiles and sprinter vans and sports mobiles. And they installed a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, so today I am with Kenny. Hello. And the team at Illuminous down there about 20 miles east of San Diego. Yeah, about, about 20 miles. And they're installing this awesome roof rack on the top of my Sprinter van. These are some panels made by Zamp Solar and they're gonna mount um, directly onto the roof racks and, um, and then the rest will be used to tie stuff down. I can sit on it. It has like a really nice hard surface so made of aluminum, right? right. So tell me about your racks. It's a perforated floor, so lightweight, really easy to walk around on. Yes. Great for sunsets and like photography. <laughs> um, we set it up to work around your vent wherever it may be. It's great for mounting kayaks They're lightweight, and surfboards. Right? Super lightweight. This one weighs about 120 pounds away. It's set up. Cool. And I want to give you a little tour. The first thing I got is this spare tire rack and this box. So in order to install those, they had to put a new rear bumper. So they took the bumper off of my van and put this new bumper on. And then they installed these two things onto that new bumper. So I'll show you the inside of this box. This box creates like a ton of extra storage space and it opens with a lock, which is great, which means it's secure. And you just go like that, like that. And welcome to my mess. <laughs> this box has been like a lifesaver. It's stuff that I use all the time, but it's stuff that I don't want to keep inside my van. Uh, I got like my toolbox, my jumper cables, I got some camp chairs, um, bungee cords, extension cords. Um, I'm also going to put a grill in here uh, once I get one. Um, so that is great. <laughs> okay, next is the spare tire rack. So normally in a sprinter van, the spare tire is stored underneath the van, but I had to take mine out in order to make space to put the heater. So my heater, which is made by Obasto, is underneath the van in the spare tire space. So that means I needed it somewhere else to put my spare tire. Uh, so I put the spare tire on this rack. Uh, what's really cool about this whole system back here is these things actually open so you can still access and open the back doors. So you push this one down and then you push that one down and then this slides out just like that. Then in order to secure it, there's a little pin here, just stored right here. And I just slide that right down in there. And that keeps this from moving. It's nice and steady. And then I can actually access the door. So I'll open this one too. And then I can open the back door and then I can access the back as if those boxes weren't there. The only difference uh, with the tire in that box on the back door is you can't swing the doors all the way around and fasten them to the side. So this is as wide as the doors get when you have the Illuminous bumper on. And then when you're ready to uh, close it all up, all you do is just slam it really nice and hard and it locks in place. So now we're coming around the other side. Now I'm on the driver's side and the luminous ladder on the side of my van. So I'll go up there and show you um, how it works. Uh, one thing to know is I just put on this no slip grip tape on each of the steps. So the ladder was a little bit slippery and if it was wet, I think it could be really slick. So I put this grip tape on. So you can actually see here that the top of the ladder hooks uh, right into the rails. There's some bolts down there and a bracket that hooks it into the rail, not the actual rack. So now the, the real cool stuff, uh, the roof rack. So all of Illuminous's racks are made of aluminum and they're all custom made to order. So you can uh, make cutouts and stuff 
and tell them like you can be like I have a fan here I want my solar here I want a Thule box here and then they can create a custom sized rack for your van that will accommodate all the different things that you want to have on the roof so when I was getting it done they were like what do you want to have on the roof I knew I had my solar panels um, and I needed a cutout for my fan and I also needed a cutout for this little fan which is in the back I wanted a couple of crossbars, which you see here, and another one right there. And that would make it easier for me to tie bigger stuff down. So say I wanted to put like a full-size kayak on the roof, I can mount it to those crossbars. Uh, right now I have a foldable kayak made by Oru. I have a video, a time lapse showing how that works if you want to check that out on my YouTube channel. And what's really cool is the floor here is solid. And what's really cool, I can hang out up here. I can sit, I can lounge, I can bring my tripod up here, I can bring some beers, I can hang out. Um, I'm super excited to have it be summer and be able to hang out up here on the roof and enjoy uh, stargazing and all kinds of stuff. So, um, and this crossbar actually creates a nice little back platform to rest. I could bring a pillow up here and I would be super styling. Um, the other thing that aluminous racks are known for, because they're made of aluminum, they're pretty lightweight, but, I have noticed a little bit of a decrease in my gas efficiency um, since I got the rack put on. It's gone down by, I don't know, two or three miles per gallon. So I'm not sure if that's the rack. I think part of it has to do with the fact that you can see that these solar panels, there's a gap here. And I think maybe some of the wind is coming and getting trapped underneath. And the reason I mounted them like that is so I could store stuff underneath them. Like if I wanted to put my skis underneath them, I would have a little bit of space or other things that were you know only this tall I could store under there and not lose that space completely just because of the solar next I'm going to show you this awning so right here thing along the side is an awning that comes out for shade in the summer so that's the basics of all the luminous gear I have in my van if you have questions make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have more van videos coming soon. So thank you. Peace.